Good Counsel High School on Chicago's northwest side is run by the Felician Sisters. The principal is Sister Fran Wilkowski. With a modified habit, her outward appearances have changed somewhat since Vatican II, but her views have shifted drastically. At one time, I felt when I was younger that uh, there was somebody authorized to tell me what to do. Uh, and I obeyed whatever they told me what to do. Today, I don't believe that at all. In 1951, Sister Fran joined the Felician Sisters. Although it's one of the more traditional orders, the liberating impact of Vatican II is still evident. Like Sister Kathy, Sister Fran no longer believes obedience means giving up her own will. It is my decision to do those things that I ought to do, and somebody telling me to do them or not telling me to do them doesn't make any difference. My vows still are inherently there. Even though Sister Fran's view of obedience differs from the Vatican's, her lifestyle fits Father Downey's profile of a faithful nun. She does the work of her community, education. She lives in a convent, and she wears a habit. But Sister Fran doesn't see all that as essential to religious life. The fact that we wear a habit doesn't make us more a sister than someone else who doesn't wear a habit. It doesn't depend upon um, the icing on the cake or, or the, you know, the outside appearances. It has to go deeper than that, and a lot of people don't, don't look at the, at the depth. They only look at the outward appearances. That kind of thinking disturbs Sister Fran, but she sees other concerns for religious women, concerns that strike at the heart of church structure. Our rules are approved by males in the church. And sometimes that's a source of, of uh, embitterment to a lot of people. I feel that um, women need to have uh, a greater say in the kind of life they live. And it should not be dominated by, by uh, men. Sister Fran has internalized a freer way of thinking since Vatican II.